y'all, welcome to my curls. I have to make a confession today. A really, really heartfelt, deep, thought through confession. And you all know on my channel, I talk about my hair, my curly hair, my gray hair, going gray, my transition to gray hair, my journey to gray hair, all of these things. I've been hiding something from y'all and it's time to confess. I think it's just time that I let the cat out of the bag. I'm just gonna come out with it. So stick around and I'm gonna confess. So y'all can see the gray hair. I've been going gray for 17 months. I stopped dyeing my hair in October of 2018 and this is where I am. I'm pretty much at very near to the end of my gray hair transition. I've just got a little bit of some little tips of color left on the ends right around in here. And I think by this summer, all of that color would be gone. But I think I miss coloring my hair. I do. I think I miss coloring my hair. I am missing going to the salon every three weeks to get my hair colored. I have so much free time on my hands right now that I don't know what to do with myself. Like I'm having to spend my time going on walks and hanging out with my daughter and doing things with my husband and playing with Pollux and Maxie who are sitting right here beside me while I'm filming this. Like I don't even know what to do with myself. I just have all of this free time. And so I'm thinking about coloring my hair again just so that I can go back to the salon. I was there every three weeks and I had my appointment scheduled out. Like I could look at my appointment book and see for the next six months what my schedule was gonna be, where I had to be, what time I had to be there, how long I was gonna be there. My day was, my day was determined for me. And I, you know, I just don't know what to do with myself with all of this free time and freedom to do what I want to with my day. Y'all, I miss, I really, really miss every time I would get my hair dyed, that line, that discoloration on my forehead. And right here, I don't get to show off my dye marks anymore. I feel like all of my friends miss seeing that mark on my face. I have so much money, it is burning a hole in my pocket. Like, all of this money, I'm saving! Or I'm buying new clothes, or I'm buying toys for the dogs, or I'm getting to go on vacation. Like, shoot, I need to go back and give my money to the hair salon, y'all, because it is burning a hole in my pocket. Ooh, man, oh my gosh, and I miss the itchy head. I miss, I miss scratching my head for two days. I don't know what to do with my hands when they're not scratching my head for two days after I get my hair done. Like I'm doing my nails, I'm keeping my nails looking good. I don't have dye underneath my fingernails for two days after I've haired my hair colored. I, I really miss all this itching and the bumps that I would get on my neck. I miss it. My neck is all cleared up. Like what am I supposed to do without bumps on my neck and an itchy head? And what is up with me having to be myself? Like, I don't know what to do with myself when I'm not pretending to be somebody else. This calmness and this happiness and this smiling all the time and being confident. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do with that. Well, come here. Yeah. I'm having to play with these two guys. I mean, I'm having to spend my time playing with the doggies and spending my money buying toys and bones. I mean, it's just horrible, the life I'm having to live. <laughs> can you can you put that tail down? <laughs> you all can tell I'm being totally sarcastic, right? Ah, what do you get? Pollux's tail, I love it. This big, white, fluffy, oh my gosh, she's on the couch. That is what's going on at my house, y'all. These two are on the couch. I'm being totally sarcastic. Everything I said is not true. I tried to do this the funny way, but y'all, I cannot tell a lie. Like, you can always tell by the look on my face. I cannot even tell a fib. Like, I just don't have it in me. And so, I thought I was going to be able to pull off this funny video, but I can't do it. Y'all know I am lying. I love having gray hair. The freedom 
the time, the money, the confidence. I'm just going to come over here so you can be entertained by these two. <laughs> but the freedom, the time, the money, the confidence, the calmness, the happiness, the energy, the no more going to the salon, no more itchy head, no more lying on my face. I love every second of it, and I hope you all truly, truly know that. So maybe I should have called this video the reasons why I stopped dyeing my hair. So just think about it that way. I cannot even concentrate because they are beside me like having a full-on play session but let me just tell you y'all i hated coloring my hair and here is why number one i absolutely hated my head itching and i am not exaggerating when i say to you my head would severely itch for about two days I would come home from getting my hair colored. I would get in the shower, but even though Betsy would wash my hair after she um, colored my hair, I just had to come home and do it again. Like I needed to scrub my head because it itched. And it, it was just always kind of back in here. I would find once my head dried from getting it dyed, if I scratched my head, I would have dye, like black dye underneath my fingernails. And it just itched. I was miserable for two entire days. I would get bumps on the back of my neck, like right at the hairline from where the hair dye just irritated my skin so much. So that is really the number one reason that I stopped coloring my hair is the reaction, whether it was an allergic reaction, I don't know, but it itched my head something horribly. The dye would color my skin. As careful as Betsy was not to get the color on my face, she would have to to some extent in order to cover up all of the gray hair. So I would have, you know, a black ring right around my hairline. I would come home from the hair salon and take um, Dawn dish detergent and scrub my forehead and scrub my skin to try to break down that dye that had colored my face. But you couldn't get the dawn on your hair because then you were gonna, you were taking the color off of the hair that you discolored. And it was, I mean, y'all, I cannot tell you how frustrating it was to come home and look in the mirror and get up close and I could see little gray hairs all around my forehead that never, I guess that didn't take the dye or I don't know what happened. But inevitably, there was always 10 or 20 hairs that never picked up the dye. So I paid all this money, spent all the time to dye my hair, and then I came home and I had hair that wasn't dyed. I hated going to the salon every three weeks, and I had to book my appointments about three, four, five months in advance because Betsy is a busy lady, and I wanted to make sure that I was consistently on her books every three and a half weeks because I had to get my grace covered up. So I would book out months and months in advance, and so I had to kind of schedule what I had going on in my life around my hair appointments. If I was going on vacation, if I was going out of town, if we had any big event or holiday coming up, if it was Christmas or Easter or Valentine's or graduation or birthday parties, I always wanted to cover my grays. I was constantly trying to book appointments around all of these major things happening in my life so that I didn't have gray hair on those events. It was so exhausting and time consuming and just dictated my every move, I felt like, to have to schedule my life around my gray hair. And I hated it. And the money. I hated spending the money. Like every, gosh, I don't even remember the number. I did a video called How Much When You Save When You Go Gray. I'll link it right up here. I have not looked at that video in a while. But I did the math and I sat down and I calculated how much money I was spending every three and a half weeks to have my hair colored and cut. 
and the number was crazy. And I know a lot of you all that did the math from my video, you had way bigger numbers than I did. I live in a small town. So I didn't have to pay that much for my services, but I wanna say it was something like $1,000 a year. I was spending $1,000 a year to do something that made me miserable. <laughs> This video is going to the dogs, y'all. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, I can do nothing. This is what goes on in my house um, at least three times a day. They get all worked up and have a big play session. So I'll just finish the video like this. I got so sick of pretending to be somebody that I wasn't pretending to care what others thought about my hair, pretending to dress and act and, and try to be something that I wasn't, it was fake. That was not me. My hair was fake. It made me fake. My hair was fake. It made me feel fake. And I just, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't even talk. Like I cannot even talk. If you are new to my channel, I am so sorry. <laughs> this is Pollux. Max sees the little white one that you see right here in the corner. And this is what goes on in my house. If you have been on my channel for a while, you have seen these guys over and over. Normally they are not right in my face, but it's because I'm sitting in the living room floor and they are just having a moment. So, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get through this video. I don't know if I'm going to entertain you or... <laughs> hey, Moo. What are you doing? Ah! What? What? What are you doing? I don't know if they're going to entertain you or if I'm going to entertain you, but I'm getting through the stinking video. Y'all, the point of the video is I absolutely hated coloring my hair, and I wanted to tell you the reasons why I decided to stop coloring my hair. Everything about it made me miserable. Everything about it made me unhappy, and I am so glad that I made the decision to go gray. I think these guys are glad that I made the decision to go gray because I am home with them much more often. I am so much happier and energetic. We, <laughs> with this tail. we go on walks every day. We play. Uh, I have money to buy them toys and buy them bones and do all of these things. And y'all, if you watch my videos, where we just got back from Puerto Vallarta, we are taking these two with us next year. We... <laughs> these two guys are going on vacation with us next year. And without all of my extra money in my pocket from ditching the die, I don't know that that would be possible because their airline tickets are so expensive and we had to find a condo that was pet friendly and pay pet deposits and we had to get a two-bedroom condo because they have to have somewhere to stay they are not staying in my bed on vacation so I had to get them their own bedroom that would not be possible if I was spending all of my money getting my hair colored so in the end y'all I hope this video was entertaining I don't even know if I got my point across but these are the reasons why I stopped coloring my hair these are the things that made me miserable. These were the things that just, the final straw, the tipping point, why I chose to stop coloring my hair and go gray. I do not regret one single minute of it. If you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed seeing these two idiots, give the video a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so that you can see me, more of them, and we can talk about going gray, ladies, because I am so for going gray. I will see you later. I think I'm gonna play with these two. <laughs> and I vacuumed the couches today. You can see we have navy blue couches and Pollux is losing his hair like crazy. And it's white hair. Only the white hair comes out. It is all over our couch. So I vacuumed the couch about two hours ago. So that did me no good. I'm gonna have to do it again. But 
I guess I better get off here because that's what I got to do. I got to vacuum the couch. I'll see you later.